So welcome back, folks. I want to look at this Trump trial that's going on right now. And Michael Cohen, as we speak, is giving testimony that a lot of people think is going to be inconsequential. But I think the news for Trump is is terrible and it's just not going to get any better. But before we get into that, I just have to show you this. Let's let's just address the the elephant in the room here. Lindsey Graham was on Meet the Press and he was babbling on and you can just tell he's babbling because he's breathless you know he's starting to you know words are running into each other i mean it's insane here's what he had to say folks about fighting an enemy who wants to kill you and your family why did we drop two bombs nuclear bombs on hiroshima and nagasaki oh god here we go war that we couldn't yeah. afford to lose you don't understand apparently what israel is facing they're facing three groups iran calm down who has received 80 billion dollars in aid when trump left office it they wasn't were exporting 80. 300 barrels of oil a day Jeez. now they're at 1.3 a uh, million a day they've been enriched by biden they're taking that money to kill all the jews so when we there's always going to be an iran destruction as a north korea after pearl harbor Face fighting it. the germans and the japanese we decided to end the war by the bombing uh hiroshima and nagasaki with nuclear weapons that was the right decision give but israel the bombs they need to end the war they can't afford to lose you know folks the the whole thing with this um you know, this war that just doesn't seem to end. In the beginning, I felt that, yes, Israel should get out there and they've got a right to fight uh, for what happened to them. You know, they've got a right to defend themselves. But, you know, this has gone on for quite some time. Uh, I, I've said this to a lot of people that I know. Even in World War II, World War I, any war that's ever been fought, you never get everybody, right, that you want to get. You, you're always going to leave someone somewhere that still hates you right on the other side i mean this is this is one of the realities of war and i think we're at that stage right now you're not going to get every uh, hamas terrorist you know so to speak you're you're it's it's just not realistic and you know i i'm beginning to think now that this this war that they're fighting is a cover for their own inefficiencies you know with the paragliders going over i mean horrid don't get me wrong, it's horrid, but these these fellows came through on paragliders. They cut through the fences. I mean, where, again, was the the intel on this? And has there been any discussion? I mean, they had severe problems that sort of, I think, could have been avoided that obviously would have averted a huge disaster here if they had been on the ball about it. Why don't we talk about that? I mean, it's not just that they did this, it's that you failed to keep them from doing this, right? I'm not saying you can catch everything every time, but my God, uh, let's have a discussion about that too. So, and, and he's comparing using nuclear weaponry, folks. I mean, it's just absolutely insane, but that's what you get with Lindsay, right? I mean, that's, that's lock, stock and barrel Lindsey Graham. So what's going on today, folks, this, this whole thing with the trial uh, Michael Cohen is testifying today, and his lawyer was on Morning Joe, and um, the talk about Trump's ongoing criminal trial in Manhattan. Uh, his name is Lanny Davis, and he's saying that um, he's going to allege, Michael Cohen is, that he was ordered by Trump to provide Stormy Daniels um, with the hush money payments. And he said this, you're also going to see everything, everything that Michael Cohen testifies to after spending years with these prosecutors behind closed doors, Michael and me, everything will be corroborated by text messages, documents, even witnesses loyal to President Trump. And it goes on here to say, folks, that in this testimony, this is going to Reuters now, pulling out some detail from Reuters on this story, um, Cohen is going to testify and has that he worked with David Pecker of the National Enquirer to use the supermarket tabloid to boost Trump's presidential candidacy, candidacy while blocking any negative stories that might hurt his chances. And it, it's just, it's just uh, damning evidence here. And you can say you don't like Michael Cohen, you don't trust Michael Cohen, but the reality is this man's got receipts. And we're talking about a guy here, folks. We're talking about a guy, Trump, who can't even admit, he can't even admit 
that he had a full-on affair with Stormy Daniels. I mean, let's face it. I mean, it's, it's human. I mean, there's people out there that are having affairs right now, for God's sakes. And they'll, they'll ultimately, a lot of them will get caught and they'll come out and say, you know what? I did wrong. I had an affair. I mean, that's the manly thing to do. Yes, you had an affair. But Trump can't even grapple with the simple honesty that he had an affair with Stormy Daniels. I mean, this is, in so many ways, people say, oh, you hate Trump. You don't. No, no, I don't hate Trump. I, I like people that are honest and can man up to what they've done. And that's, God, over and over again, that's the problem that I've got with Trump. He just can't accept any accountability here, folks. He just, he just can't even accept any accountability. And this is a guy, Michael Cohen, who's 57 years old, who's worked for Trump for 10 years. He knows where all the, the caskets have been stored. And like I said, he's got receipts. So this is, uh, this, this is not good news for Donald Trump here, folks. And at the end of this, I don't know if he's going to sit in prison. Um, I'm not saying that's the right thing that should happen here. A lot of people think that it is. I certainly think that it, there, there needs to be accountability. Now, what shape that takes, I have no idea. You know, let's let the court decide, folks. But the man can't even own up to having an affair. What, what kind of a man is he, folks? Always on the run from the truth. Always on the run. We're going to watch this as it unfolds, folks. Look for a little bit more coming out as this detail on what Mike Cohen says comes out today. But, uh, man... What, what a story this is. It's just like something that just won't end, isn't it? <laughs> Till next time, folks.